Hi guys, this is here back with another video on Easy Math. Okay, now let's discuss about special series number two. Okay, we are discussing about special series. In previous video, we learnt about arithmetic geometric progression. Today, let's discuss about special series number two called as the sequence of the form summation of n power k. Summation of n power k. Okay, you may have. You may have noticed that there are some formulas for some forms. Like as you can see, summation of n means 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus and so on until n is n into n plus 1 by 2. And summation of n square, 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus and so on until n square is n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6. And summation of n cube means 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube plus and so on until n cube is equal to n square into n plus 1 whole square by 4 or n into n plus 1 by 2 whole square or summation n whole square okay such series are called a series of the form of n power k summation of n power k there is a method to prove such series let's discuss about method actually it is not a method but it is like a process like one of the process in this process what we will discuss is that okay let's take n square let's take the summation n square 1 square is 1 and 2 square is 4 3 square is 9 and 4 square is 16 right if we subtract them what is 16 minus 9 it is 16 Okay, let's take from first one. 4 minus 1, 3, right? 3 minus 2, what is 3 minus 2? What is 9 minus 4? It is 5. 16 minus 9, it is 7. 3, 5, 7. We subtract them again. 5 minus 3, 2. 7 minus 5, 2. So, it is a constant. If we subtract that 2 times, it becomes a constant. And similarly, if we take this, Okay, if we take 1 cube, 2 cube, 3 cube, and 4 cube, and if you see, the fourth terms will be constant. So, for solving this, we will use that for squares. For summation of n square, we will use the n cube. Third, third difference is constant, right? So, we will take that. We will take n plus 1 whole cube minus n cube. And for n cube, we will take n plus 1 whole power 4 by n power 4. For n, we can simply take n plus 1 whole square minus n square. Okay, let's see how can we prove that in case of summation of n square. Okay, if we get the summation of n square, we can prove all the others in the same way, right? So first, let's see summation of n square and how can we prove that. First, proving summation of n square. Okay, now for summation of n square, as we discussed before, we will take n plus 1 whole cube minus n cube. Okay, what will it be? n plus 1 whole cube means n cube plus 3n square plus 3n plus 1. If we take off n cube, you will get the following 3n square plus 3n plus 1. So, what will be 2 cube minus 1 cube? 2 cube minus 1 cube will be 3 into 1 square plus 3 into 1 plus 1. If you substitute 1 in place of n. 3 cube minus 2 cube. 3 into 2 square plus 3 into 2 plus 1. 4 cube minus 3 cube. 3 into 3 square plus 3 into 3 plus 1. Similarly, n plus 1 whole cube minus n cube is 3n square plus 3n plus 1. Now, if you observe, in first term, 2 cube is positive, but in second term, it is negative. So, we should add them. If we add them, 2 cube and 2 cube cancels out, 3 cube and minus 3 cube, 4 cube and minus 4 cube, and so on, until n cube and minus n cube cancels out. So, we will get the remaining terms, n plus 1 whole cube minus 1 cube is equal to, okay, this side, if we add, what we will get? All these are constant. 
constants 3 multiplied with squares, right? So 3 into if we add them 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square and so on until n square, which is our required formula. That is summation of n square plus 3 into 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on until n, which is summation of n plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 and so on until n times. So you will get n. Then then n cube plus 3n n cube plus 3n square plus 3n plus 1 minus 1 if we expand that is equal to 3 into summation of n square plus 3 into summation of n plus n that is now 3 into summation of n square what will it be just send remaining all to the other side except 3 into summation of n square so n cube plus 3n square plus 3n which is in the RHS sign minus n minus 3 into summation of n which is n into n plus 1 by 2 which are in right hand side RHS that is equal to 3n cube plus 3n square plus 3n minus n minus if we multiply these two, you will get n cube n square plus n into 3. So, 3n square plus 3n by 2. If we take 2 as the LCM or if we multiply, if we take denominator as 2, then we will get 2n cube plus 6n square plus 6n minus 2n minus 3n square minus 3n by 2. 2n cube remains same. 6n square minus 3n square which is 3n square plus 6n minus 3n which is 3n minus 2n by 2 ok and 3n minus 2n means n and now if you take n common from these you will get n into n into 2n square plus 3n plus 1 right and if we factorize them 3n 3n becomes n plus 2n. n into 2n square plus n plus 2n plus 1 by 6. Okay, from 2n square plus n, you can take n common, means n into 2n plus 1 plus here 1 common, 1 into 2n plus 1. Means you will get summation of n square is equal to n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6. Okay, in the following way, you can derive for summation of n cube to Okay, try that on your own. Try proving summation of n cube on your own. Okay, guys, this is for today's video. If you like the video, hit that like button, smash the subscribe button, ring that bell icon. If not, waste your energy, if you have any doubts, comment down below. I'll answer them in the next video.